Hey everyone, welcome to Destroyer 1320. Today, we're gonna get rid of these things. These little Mickey Thompsons. These are the street comps, 275-4020. Goodbye. See, there's, these are 275. Take a look here. It'll be interesting to get the before and after. Let's take a look. So here's where we are right now with the 275s. I will keep these. I'm going to put them back on for my daily driving uh, after I get done with that YouTube show uh, April 10th out in Texas. But let's get rid of these things. Let's head. I'm sure some of you are like, well, why would you get rid of those tires? Well, I'm not getting rid of them. I'm just changing them out. They, uh, they don't stick. They don't get traction. It's almost dangerous with this car. Uh, let me get straightened out here. I'll give you a little example. So I'm doing 20. Can't go anywhere. That is pretty scary to be driving around and uh, do 30 mile an hour and hit the gas and have to think blow the tires off. So just saying safety is part of the reason, but drag racing's the other. <laughs> so here's where it's going down. Discount tire. Get our NTO fives put on. There she is. Let's go see if what we got. Let's see if we can get an appointment and get in pretty quick. One hour later. set at I think 37 pounds right now so I don't have it in drag mode or anything I just want to give it a little quick ride home see what we can do turn the corner make sure there's no popos oh yeah way way better holy cow wow that's a big difference and I haven't even gotten two miles on these things very nice initial impressions very nice you can feel they're a little spongier as i'm just riding here but wow what a difference all right let me uh pull back to the house here we'll take a look and see what we got going on we're gonna go do what i think all of us want to see oh look what i got there it looks like we're going drag racing so I'm gonna go over my pre-race ritual with you guys. Uh, first of all, uh, tonight I'm not gonna bother airing up the front tires. I usually air them up to about 46, 45, something like that, to try and get the center a little less contact patch. It's, it's you know rotational mass, the less I can get the better. But I just popped open my air filter. Here's my K&N. I don't have time to clean it. I gotta leave it five. No way it's gonna dry, uh, dry out in a half hour. So I pulled that out and put a stock Hellcat filter in there brand new and so I'm done buttoning that back up and then I do the fuse pull I pull this fuse right there for about a half hour 20 minutes or so and then pop that back in and that's all I'm going to do to this for my race prep the only thing that I did that is a bonehead move I thought these tires were not coming in until today in the afternoon, so I didn't think I was going to get him in time to race. So, me and my boneheaded self went to the gas yep, station. I was running out of gas. I was at the perfect amount just to get to the track, and I basically filled up the car. I noticed it halfway up and realized it and was pretty upset that I uh, made that bonehead mistake. So, anyway, don't do that when you're doing race prep. All right, heading to the track.
Yep, just go straight up there and take a right. Straight up there? Yep, straight up there and take a right. You'll see people at the end that are checking cars. Oh, great. The guy with the mops in front of me in my lane. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man, come on. <clears throat> Why is it my car, when I put it in drive, won't go into first? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm rolling through some shit. Well, there's one. All right, let's go. There we go. Ready, boys? Should I spun like hell? We go. That dude sitting in the dust. Thank you. Uh, 12.7. 60 foot was going to be real bad. Uh... So my overall verdict on the NT05s is that they're actually really good. They're really sticky. Now, I got the shaft when I went and waited two and a half hours for that race you just saw. Uh, because they pulled me up into a wet spot, and I saw two guys before me do the same thing. So, it's not the tire's fault. Once they hooked, I cooked. So, uh, I'm going to give them another pass here as soon as I can get back to the track. But unfortunately, uh, as some of you know, Dan IT guy fell at the track and actually busted his kneecap. So, we wish him, uh, you know, health and well wishes here as soon as possible. We need him back in the game. As a huge part of the Destroyer 1320 family, as you know, my brother as well. So, yeah, I hope he gets better. But thank you for watching this video. Hope that helps you figure out what it is you're looking for for tires. I highly do recommend them for um, something like that. I don't know if it would hold a Hellcat or something in the 700 horsepower range, but unless you go slicks, good luck on that, brother. But uh, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you so much. Oh, also, I have that membership, too. Don't forget to click that join button if you want insider information and backstage stuff. But I uh, hope you guys have a great one. We'll see you on the next one.